I'm going to go through our challenge for this module and we're basically going to create a calendar and what you're going to do is ask the user to enter a year and then you're going to print out the formatted calendar so for example if I want to do a year 2016 and I print it out so there's my year of everything for this calendar now it doesn't need to be perfect of course you really want to just kind of hit the number of days in each month so January has 31 February 28 um, sometimes and then you have March with 31 April has 30 so all of those are correct and then you can do different things to get some of the years the first day correct and start with those and that's basically what you want to do and then of course you want to print out this format and that's all it is is printing out every month and then you have your calendars in this format. The main point is to really get your days in every month correct. And then if you can get something going with getting the first day of a year correct, then that's just kind of icing on the cake for this challenge. So what I'm going to do next is go ahead and start the walkthrough for the challenge. So go ahead and pause this video, go give it a try, and then come back and I will do the walkthrough. Okay, I've got a new project open here, and this is going to be for our challenge. And I'm going to go ahead and start doing the walkthrough. So there's a few things we're going to want, and I'm going to do some includes for. And we already have our standard library. So I'm going to include as well, of course, the very often used IO stream, so we can do our C outs and CNs. And then I'm also going to include IO manip, and we'll see use of this. All right, so starting down here inside of our main, I'm going to create a few variables. So I'm going to have year, first day in, current month. And I can declare both of these variables on the same line like that without any issue. And then I'm going to do current month equals one, int num days, so number of days, and that is just going to be a declaration. All right, so I want to get some instructions out to the user. What year do you want a calendar for? And we're going to capture their input in the year variable. And then I'm just going to see out an end of line like that. And then what I'm going to do here is just a comment. So this will calculate the first day of a year. And for that, I'm going to create a few variables, x1, x2, x3. And then we're going to do something like this. And then next, I'm going to go ahead and initialize these this way. So I'll have year minus 1 divided by 4. And x2 equals year minus 1 divided by 100. x3 equals year minus 1 divided by 400 and then we're going to start day of year which is going to be first day and we want this variable here and that is going to equal year plus x1 minus x2 plus x3 and we're going to do a modular operation which is going to be 7 and that's basically going to give us back how many times something can go into that calculation without the remainder. Let's see here. I've got a issue with my spelling. All right. And let's see. Maybe I still have an issue with my spelling. Unresolved identifier. Okay, because this is misspelled. Now if I just copy this, I think we should have the correct variable. So the modulo is going to basically take just the remainder so whatever this is, divided by 7, you get a remainder. It's going to use that number, and that's going to be the first day in current month. All right, and so now we're going to do a C out just to let the user know what we're coming up with and end of line. So we'll give them the year that they typed in. And now we're going to loop over all months in a year. And to do that, we'll do while current month less than or equal to 12 so a condition inside of our while loop we'll create a body for this let's see we're going to want our ending brace there it is so we're going to get the total number of days in the current month and then we 
will also use some conditionals to help us with the headers. So current month, if it is equal to one, we're in January, obviously, and let's go ahead and do num days equals 31. And C out January, end of line. And then we're just going to follow a similar pattern with this. And what I can do in this case, or what we can do, is copy the if part here and paste. Then we'll close out, else, paste. Close out, else, paste. Close it out. And just keep kind of going down the line. Now that we have this else if pattern established, we can actually go ahead and copy the else if and then just paste. So here we have February, March, April, and then we're going to do May, June, July, August, September, October, November. And then we'll go back and just put in the right values for all of these. So this is going to be February, which will have 28 days in this case. And we're going to do two. And we're just going to keep going through these. And it's going to be 1 through 12 in that conditional. All right, so we have March, which is good to go for 30 one and then we're going to have our fourth month here which is april has 30 days and then we're going to keep going with five and that's going to be 31 for may and we go with june and we'll have 30 days in june now we have july 31 days and this is month seven and then we have august is month eight and we know August has 31 days as well. We get into month 9, which is September, has 30 days. And this is going to be September. We get into month 10, and we have October. And then month 11, so it looks like I missed a month here. This is November with 30. We'll do another copy. Paste that for 12. 31 days and December, save. So we should be able to actually run this and get our headers output. That way we can kind of check ourselves to see where we are. And as we move along through building this out, we'll be able to catch a few bugs along the way. So let's just do 2016. Looks like we are in a loop here. So we'll definitely need to correct that. So I'm just going to terminate it, clicking the button over here, the red one. And let's see here. So while our month is equal to or less than 12, our current month, that is. So there's, there's a little bit more build out. This is going to be a fairly big conditional or loop. And so what we're going to do to break out of this is increment our current month. And we will. It's just going to take a little bit more time to get to that point. So this if, all these ifs are going to roll up. And let's see here. You can click on the minuses over here out in the margin. That way you don't have to scroll through all of this. And if I just keep clicking, they just keep rolling up. And eventually I'm at the end of this conditional and I've got a nice area to work with without having to do all the different kinds of scrolling. So one last thing on this part, and we're going to continue in the another video as we move on. I'm going to go ahead and do these headers, which are separated by just a space. So these are the day headers. And we'll do end of line. I'm going to do one more C out. So we'll have here underscores, just spanning the distance of these, or maybe a little bit more. And then we'll do end of line as well and save. Okay, so that is the first part of this walkthrough. So next we're going to pick up and continue building out our solution.